Welcome to our workshop on the Quantum Project, a European-funded uh, research project uh, within Horizon 2020 that has just started at the beginning of this year. Um, and it's uh, about quality management for building performance. Um, we have uh, four presentations for you about the general topic and about three tools that are being developed and applied within uh, this project. And we would um, uh, be happy if you could discuss our approach and those tools in this workshop to, to gather your opinions, uh, your attitudes towards quality management. We are not starting from scratch. All the tools are at a certain stage already. So uh, there is something you can, you can discuss about, you can uh, comment on. Um, at the beginning, we would like to uh, ask a short question so that we know who is here and what, what your role is in, in buildings. Um, and during the different presentations, we will also have some questions to you. We have a polling system here, so uh, we will collect your answers and we'll be happy to look at the answers in the end. The first presentation, I will talk about um, the project itself, the, the scope the, 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 of the project, and then my colleagues here will uh, present the, different, the three different tools that we will uh, be working on in the quantum project. I would like to, to show a few energy data that we use for um, identify some potential of energy efficiency. The second tool is the comfort meter. Um, on its own, it not, it's not about energy. Yeah, it's about comfort level and comfort uh, assessment by the building users, so occupants. Yeah, uh, it's a questionnaire, so a survey uh, sent out to building occupants, and they evaluate their comfort level on different comfort aspects. How do we use the comfort meter in normal sense outside of the quantum project? So we normally use it uh, within. EPC projects, energy performance contracting projects, yeah, uh, energy saving projects like recommissioning, um, and we use it as a sort of an evaluation basis within the contracts before execution of the project and after execution execution of the project. Yeah. Still want to give you a deeper view on active functional specifications, closing the loop between concept and operation. So uh, today I will give some answers on how these active functional specifications can help to maximize the building performance. As we experienced that active functional specifications are the, are the concept to tackle lags and create potentials um, within the building automation system. And secondly, uh, I want to show how this is done by managing the quality control loop. And at last, um, I want to explain how this is done by digitalizing the performance test. Mm -hmm. 